Do any of these look familiar? In China, the art of making clay figurines is an intangible cultural heritage dating back thousands of years. The artist Wu Xiaoli thinks the G20 is the perfect chance to promote it. We began to make these figurines last year when we got news that Hangzhou would host a G20 summit. We found their pictures online and observed very carefully their facial features. Such as President Xi has a little baby fat on his face, making him look very kind, and Putin has a high nose and high cheeks. The full set of figurines took them three months to make. But despite their hard work, Wu would like people to understand that the art is accessible to all, adults and children alike. Through this G20-inspired clay figurines, Wu wants to show how practical and simple the art is and helps to bring her more business. See, this is my work, a peony, the national flower of China. It took me only 10 minutes to create. I'm going to put it here. Now, see how it looks? It wasn't long at all before the G20 figurines were snapped up by excited customers. Once word got out over various media panels, her footfall increased several times over. We've been learning the craft here for two months. We knew about Miss Wu from television. We want to open a shop like hers. This is probably how Hangzhou can really benefit from hosting the G20 summit. The city is expecting more people will know about its fascinating cultural heritage and market, and especially this special cultural street as a future holiday destination. Wu Xiao, CTV, Hangzhou.